In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace and peace and love of God our Father and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, to prepare our hearts to enter into the sacred mysteries, let us together call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity at heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sin, in which you once lived following the age of the world, following the roar of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses, and we were by nature children of wrath like the rest, but God, who is rich in mercy, because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you, it is a gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork created in Christ Jesus for good works that God has prepared in advance that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. The Lord, uh, the Lord made us, we belong to him. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock he tends. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for he is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, what shall I do, for I do not have space to store my harvest? And he said, this is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, now as for you, you have many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. 
But God said to him, you fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and all the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus it will be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in matters, in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Paul writes of the gift and mystery of salvation in today's first reading. Humanity was caught up in the grasp of sin and death, but in Christ, God has liberated us and shown the abundance of his grace. In the gospel, Jesus exhorts his listeners to take care against all greed. He then tells a parable about a rich man who stores up treasures for himself. For the rich man, in the parable today, everything was about him, not about God or anyone else, but his treasure was short-lived, for God called him back to him. It's a good reminder to us, my dear brothers and sisters, that God is in charge, no matter how much we gain in this world. We must leave it all behind for others. All we can take with us is our acts of love. And so it is true, my dear brothers and sisters, we should really be focusing on storing up things for heaven, not things here on earth. Because let me tell you, when we get to that point when the Lord calls us home, all the stuff we have is left for others to take care of. So, Divest yourself of the junk, the unimportant things, and really keep what is most important. It's just like the joke I heard about the man who passed away. He had tons of money, and he wanted to bury it all with him. So his wife honored the request she wrote a check and put it in the casket. Of course, she was left with all the money. My dear brothers and sisters, though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. It doesn't. Many of the possessions weigh us down or could weigh down others. Focus on what really is important, not the things of this world, but the things of heaven. Focus on caring, loving the Lord by loving God and your, loving your neighbor and yourself. That's what's most important in life is our acts of love because our acts of love build up our true treasure, where it belongs, in heaven. In trust and humility, let us lift up before the Lord our needs and prayers. For all members of the church, may the Holy Spirit help us make a joyful and fruitful witness to the gospel. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold elected office, may Jesus inspire in them a greater ability to serve with humility and integrity. We pray. For all who are absent from the life of the church, may the Lord encourage them in their faith and deliver them from doubt. We pray. For this community of faith, may the calling of Christ echo in our hearts, giving clarity to our desires and actions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they come to share eternal life through the mercy of God, we pray. And for the intention of the Holy Mass being offered this morning for Linda Sokolovich, we pray. Almighty God, we ask that you hear our prayers and in your great love answer them. 
we make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he adored his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim and profess your resurrection. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, and now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. 
the body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ. 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 The body Amen. of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. 
And do that, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Proceed, Paranabos, who sing to this. <laughs> 